Hey everyone, Scott here from Older and Wiser. Recently, we were able to stay at the St. Louis West Historic Route 66 KOA while we were on the shakeout trip for our new travel trailer. We really enjoyed our time there. We think this is a fantastic KOA. And uh, we're gonna do a little review about it and show you just how great it is. So stick around and check it out. Welcome to the St. Louis West Historic Route 66 KOA. This KOA is conveniently located just two miles from Six Flags St. Louis. It's located just off of Interstate 44 at the Allenton Six Flags exit for easy access to all of the area's major attractions. To the east is downtown St. Louis, about 30 miles away. And just 40 minutes west, down I-44, you'll find Merrimack Caverns, Merrimack State Park, and plenty of floating and river access opportunities. The campground also sits on the outskirts of Eureka, Missouri, which has a wide variety of stores, restaurants, parks, activities, and a wonderful, thriving, historic Main Street area. The KOA features 50 amp and 30 amp sites, with both full hookup and water electric only sites available. The sites are all pull-throughs and have cable TV hookups. Some of the sites available are as long as 90 feet, and many of the sites include a fire ring, but you are welcome to bring your own. This KOA does feature its deluxe RV sites that have a nice fire pit, chairs on a brick patio, and an included barbecue grill. They offer tent sites that have water and electric hookups with mulch pads and grass sites that have no hookups. The sites are mostly level and shaded and include a fire ring, charcoal grill, and picnic table. There is a nice sized fenced pool area which is open from 8 a.m. until dusk. Near the pool is a nice playground area with some swings. This KOA also features basketball hoops, a giant jumping pillow, ping pong tables, and bike rentals. For the four-legged campers, there's a nice dog park with two separate areas and one featuring a lovely fire hydrant to, uh, you know. There are meeting and conference rooms, a pavilion with a fireplace where movies are shown from a projector. They have nice level grassy areas to play in around the campground and a beautiful creek to splash in at the southern end of the property. Sites are well spaced out and Wi-Fi is available across the campground. Cell service is great on Verizon and pretty good on AT&T. We were not able to test out other carriers, but I would assume that cell service would be fair. The camp office features a large gift shop and friendly staff. They sell gifts and souvenirs. Food items, firewood, propane, and other supplies are available at reasonable rates. If you're not looking to bring the RV or tent, this KOA features several great basic and deluxe cabins. The basic cabins have no bathroom and no kitchen, and you must bring your own linens. The cabins do include air conditioning and a TV with cable. There is a nice front porch with a porch swing. The smaller basic cabin can accommodate up to four people with one bunk bed and one full-size bed. The larger basic cabin adds an extra bunk bed to accommodate up to six guests. The deluxe cabin sleeps up to six guests and includes a full kitchen and bathroom with shower. There is a bedroom with one king or queen bed, a full-size sofa sleeper, and a sleeping loft with two full-size beds. Linens are provided. The deluxe cabins also have a full-size deck or porch to relax on with a gas grill available. The deluxe cabins are also handicap friendly. And unique to this KOA is the Cozy Caboose Cabin. This cabin is shaped like a caboose and can sleep up to four people. There are two single beds and a queen size bed. Linens are provided and there's a full bathroom with a tub and a shower. There's no kitchen in this unit, but it does have a mini fridge with tables and chairs and air conditioning. There is a patio with furniture and a gas grill. Pets are allowed in all of the cabins except for the Cozy Caboose. As you can see, this KOA has something for everyone and is close to so many of the great things the St. Louis area has to offer. We will provide links to the KOA below along with links to some of the nearby attractions. If you have any questions or want any recommendations for your visit to the area, please leave us a comment and we'll get back to you shortly. 
We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you enjoy videos like this or other RV related content. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.